Welcome to WP Mail SMTP. In this video, we're going to show you how to fix your site's email deliverability issues by setting up WP Mail SMTP with Microsoft 365 and Outlook. Email deliverability is probably the biggest and most common issue that WordPress users face on a day to day basis. This includes important emails either ending up in a user spam folder or not being delivered at all. The best way to fix this issue is to authenticate your site's emails using SMTP and selecting a specific mailer option to help deliver your emails reliably each and every time. Before we begin, you'll need to make sure that you have a Microsoft Azure account before completing this tutorial. Without further ado, let's get started. After installing the WP Mail SMTP plugin and verifying your license key, scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the mailer section. Select the 365 Outlook option to trigger a new section to appear below. In this section, you'll see three new fields, application ID, application password, and redirect URI. In order to generate an application ID and an application password, you'll need to set up a web application in your Microsoft Azure account. So open a new tab or window and log into your account. Be sure to keep the WP Mail SMTP settings window open as we'll need to come back to it later. In your Azure dashboard, type in app registrations in the search bar at the top of the page and select it when it appears. At the top of the next page, click on plus new registration. On the app registration form, you'll need to fill in the following fields. Name, which is to help you stay organized so you can name it whatever you'd like. We'd recommend something like WPmail SMTP colon yourdomain.com. Supported account types. Select accounts in any organizational directory and personal Microsoft accounts. And redirect URI. In the first dropdown, select web. In the second field, You'll need to copy the value from your site's WP Mail SMTP settings page, so tab back there now. Copy the URL in the redirect URI field, and then return to your Azure portal to paste it into the second field next to the dropdown. Afterwards, click Register. Once this is done, you'll be redirected to the overview page where you'll be able to find your application ID. Copy it, tab back to the WP Mail SMTP settings page, and paste it into the application ID field. The next step is to create an application password, so go back to your Azure portal and click on Certificates and Secrets in the left sidebar. On the following page, click on Plus New Client Secret. An overlay will then appear where you'll need to fill in the following fields. Description, which is only for your own use, so you can write in something simple like App Password, and Expires which should be set to 24 months. When you're done, click Add. After you submit this form, your application password will be generated. You can find the password under the value column, so copy it, return to your WP Mail SMTP settings page, and paste it into the corresponding field. Now that you've filled in both the application ID and application password, click on the Save Settings button. You should then see a new button called Allow plugin to send emails using your Microsoft account. Click on it to be redirected to a Microsoft permissions form. At the bottom of this form, click Yes. You'll then be redirected back to your WP Mail SMTP settings page and see a notification letting you know that the connection was successful. Scroll down to find the From Email field, where you can now enter an email address. This email address should be the same one used to authorize your connection to Microsoft. You'll be able to find that email address in the Authorization section at the bottom of the page. Below that is a checkbox called Force From Email, which will apply the email address above to all emails sent from your site. We strongly recommend checking this box, which will save you the trouble of having to edit the From Email settings in other parts of your site. Below that is the From Name field. The Microsoft 365 Outlook.com mailer doesn't support changing whatever name is in this field, so you won't be able to edit this. Your emails will be sent on behalf of the account name used to authorize your connection. To make sure everything is working properly, let's send out a test email. Click on the Email Test tab at the top of the page, and in the Send To field, you can enter whatever email address you have access to to receive the test email. 
When you're done, click Send Email. When the test email has been sent, check your inbox to find the newly arrived message. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up WP Mail SMTP with Microsoft 365 and Outlook. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to visit WPMailSMTP.com and check out our documentation page, where we have step-by-step -step written instructions that can help you get started and learn more about what WP Mail SMTP has to offer. If you need any extra technical help, you can always go to our contact page and reach out to our support team.